Oh, good evening. My friend Bill asked me to give a small introduction to today's wine evening. So just let me give you a short overlook what is important for a Spanish wine evening. That we have components like the wine, which we will come to further, but there is the jamón. I think you know what that is. So today I took out uh, one piece of the jamón terveles. Um, these are nice cuts uh, from the Region Tra Traveles, uh, which is a special, uh, a special kind of uh, pork. Now then, you also have an important component of the Spanish cuisine, which is the cheese. So you have curado, uh, jamón, um, de sabor. Um, un poco curado, uh, this is more older and, and um, a little semi curado, which is a little bit fresher, but they're a very important part of the diet for us this evening. And Bill, as you know, the olive oil. And there we have a special introduction today, which is here from the region where we live. This is a fantastic. Uh, olive oil uh, producer. So we have a kind of olive oil that has a certain touch of um, hot background. But it's coming only from, there's no flavors, nothing in it, it's only from the pure olive. So here we have the culinary part and now we come to the most important part which is the wine. Now the wine, you know there are different regions but Basically, we're always in the exterior, in, in, in international grounds, we talk about uh, Rioja, La Rioja. So I, I brought one today, the Rioja, which is Viña Pedrosa. Now I have to put my spectacles on because I'm getting every day younger and younger and seeing these things more clearly. Um, here we go. This is the Rioja Marques de Riscal, I can recommend, which is a classic. You never make any mistake there. So Marques de Riscal, Reserva. Fantastic, and from the year 2006. Well, I think nowadays you have to put some some money on the table for that. Now, uh, as I always said, Ribera del Duero for me is much better than Rioja, but it's an opinion. But you can see that if I choose a good selection, one is Rioja and four are Ribera del Duero. In Spanish, it's Ribera del Duero. Now we have. The classic Ribera del Duero Viña Pedrosa, I can recommend also. Then you know this one, you already tried it, but this one is a 2012, which is a very good year. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite regions uh, and, and um, Vin Vineyards. And of the same producer, Emilio Moro, you have special qualities, which is uh, the Maleolos, for example. The Maleolos is a bottle that is in the mid high level which I would add, this is already above the normal standard of, of red wines but this is Maleolus is of my Emilio Moro and is a very very good uh, uh, it, it's, it's a special class you have still two more which are really top class but this year if you buy this at a wine store you in, in Spain you already have to pay around uh, I would say 80 euros or so uh, and uh, the one that we tried is around between 30 and 35 euros. Now today I want to show you the one that I talked about, the Arsuaga, which is, besides the Emilio Moro, is my top favorite because it has a special, a very special taste. That is um, different from any Spanish red wine. And now we go for the opening session. Uh, the Arsuaga, um, about two years ago, I went to this wine yard and uh, looked how it works and uh, the, um, the way how they produce it is fantastic. It's just wonderful to see it and the wine is just spectacular. It's, I mean, spectacular, Bill. Now, let's have a try to this one. Oh, that is very good. Right, just. Stay a minute, focus on, on this bottle, and I bring you a glass. Uh, I will 
we'll try this one. Now, let's make this a toast for our special friends in the US. I wish you all the best, great health, and a nice evening. All the best to you with this. Spectacular red wine. Have a nice evening.